Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Once Upon a Time, my thoughts on episode 18 and oh my god have I got a lot to tell you. First, spoilers. Episode 18, Once Upon a Time, The Stable Boy. And I'm doing this, my thoughts, directly after publishing the reaction. Perry Pinky Potter, who in the previous reaction said, the next episode is going to throw you for a curveball, it's going to throw you for a doozy. And you weren't wrong, <laughs> you weren't wrong at all, completely, on all levels. This completely threw virtually everything, every preconception I've had so far because Regina's not the person I thought she was. She's kind of, sort of, half the person I thought she was, but half is not whole. Jay Reagan is asking me who my thoughts on who August is, and I still haven't got any. It's, as I've said, my best guess is either he's a character we haven't met yet in the Enchanted Forest, although I'm told I'm wrong, or a child of somebody, or he had a different appearance, or maybe he was he's an animal resurrected as a human. Oh no, I don't know. So let's get on with the episode at hand. I loved getting Regina's backstory. It does shed some light onto, well, it, it sheds light onto how she became evil and how she ended up with such a hatred of Snow White. Although, I have thoughts about that I'll come back to. Sophia Peters says that this isn't how Regina turned evil. There must be more to this than I'm seeing because I, it, the way I saw it is she was very kind, she was very loving. Um, when Snow caught Regina and Daniel kissing in the stable, had Regina been even a modicum evil at that point, she would have killed Snow on the spot. I mean, she could easily have covered it up. It's a very dangerous world, the Enchanted Forest. She could have even blamed her mother. So, her first re response, instead of doing a Jamie Lannister and just pushing the boy out the window, as it were, she, she ran to Snow and tried to get her to understand her feelings. And that doesn't imply an evil heart to me. That implies only good intentions and how I feel about Regina's reaction to finding out that Snow had betrayed her is I don't know how Snow, how old Snow is supposed to be oh and by the way kudos again to the casting team that managed to find a child that looked so much like Jennifer Goodwin. Um, amazing casting. It has been amazing casting all the way through this series. So yeah, anyway, I don't know how old Snow is supposed to be in this. I I'm guessing she looks about 12, 13-ish. So is she old enough to understand, old enough to have known better than to have betrayed a secret? Or is she too young to really have grasped the ramifications of her actions? See, on one, on one side you could say Regina's sudden turning and her hatred of Snow is justified. On the other, you can't. She was just a kid. She doesn't know any better. So, I, n I need further development on that before I've fully made up my mind, but I can see your point that Regina isn't all bad, that she does have 
may be still some modicum of a sympathetic heart still within her. We also see where Regina gets her manipulative streak. I'm not going to say evil streak, I'm going to, I will say manipulative selfish streak from her mother because her mother is downright horrible. So we get confirmation that it was in fact Mr Gold that was behind the plan of Catherine's disappearance, murder and oh by the way she's alive again. And how does that work? Come back to that. So it was his plan all along. And of course Regina went along with it. So he, ha he has been playing both sides all along. So he supplied the Dark Curse in the first place. So he's really kind of behind everything that's gone on. It's, he's, he's the, it's not, not Regina. Regina's the puppet. I mean, she's got some control, but it's Rumpelstiltskin. I've just tweaked, it's Rumpelstiltskin all along. He's been manipulating every side. I know I'm going to get proved wrong there, but sorry, that was just a revelation. I can't remember where I was now. Well, I seem to have covered everything except Catherine's alive. Now, how is that? What has happened to her? Theories. She was killed, but people from the Enchanted Forest can't die in Storybrook unless Regina herself crushes their heart into dust. Was she supposed to have died or was she just kidnapped out of the way? Is, is this, was this the plan all along or is this a hiccup? Because things are going to lead straight back to Regina and straight back to Mr Gold. So this can't have been part of the plan, so what's gone wrong? I think the plan has gone wrong. And now Regina's bag is right up against the wall. I mean, we saw um, Emma trying, getting that shard of the shovel. She knows that it was uh, Regina's shovel, but she can't prove it because when she went back and it, it was a completely new shovel. So Regina's always that one step ahead, but I don't think she's going to stay one step ahead. Not with Re Mr. Gold playing both sides. The question is, who, which side is he going to let win? Or is he going to play them off continually so that neither side ever wins the war? That is my thoughts on the stable boy as we move forward into the return, which gives me no clues whatsoever. Return? The return of what? Something is returned? Someone has returned? Doesn't mean anything to me. I will leave you with a little clip that I had to cut out of the edit, which I think you'll find amusing. Thank you for watching and keep safe. Bye bye. Isn't that right, Your Majesty? <laughs> I love it when he calls her the Maj. He's, uh, 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 what do you know I what I mean. Know? When the young Snow caught her and Daniel kissing in the stable. <coughs> right. The secret. No. Wasn't it all about a secret? Is this the secret that she was talking about? Are you okay? No. No.